Hello and welcome to Off Track. My name is Jonathan Abbott and today I'm talking to Brisket Formula One superstar Tom Harris. Tom, thank you for doing this today. No a fantastic 2019 season. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite unbelievable really. It um, comes to pinch yourself every now and then, you know, just to, it's quite a shock to, uh, to have the year that bad. Best one so far, would you say? Oh, it's definitely, yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, which is the best stock car that you've ever built or raced? Um, probably the tarmac car I built from 2010, I think it was, 2010 to 2011, the silver one. Okay. Um, it was kind of like the, one of my, the first car I built for myself and really from scratch and uh, a, lot of, a lot of success with it, so uh, it was probably my favourite one. Is that still like about, is that still like kind of about, uh, about now? Paul Ford had it yeah. and then um, Jamie Huckfield's got it now, he's had it for the start of this year and yeah. uh, he's in V8, so he hasn't progressed to Formula 1, so okay. um, it's just sat in the shed. Okay. Be nice to see back on track. Yeah, it would be, it would be yeah. nice. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, so, a renowned car builder. You know, people come to you to build uh, cars. But are there any other cars out there that you kind of really admire um, that are racing at the moment? Um, yeah. Well, it's one that I built actually. Um, Will Hunter Shell Car. Okay. Um, I'm a massive fan of that. I've um, been building one for myself for the last four years. You know, it was a sister car to the one that Will has now. Right. Okay. I uh, just ran out of time and never got around to it. So, but yeah, it's. Um, Put a lot of time and effort into that, and um, you know, a lot of different things, and that is, you know, what I think is the, the next generation of a stock right, car. Okay. Yeah. And so, it, for future stock cars, you is that kind of that's you believe? That's that's now? what the, the dirt cars will be, the shell yeah. cars will be, um, very similar, you know, based on that. Based yeah. On. Okay. Um, Formula One's got a lot of great drivers, but is there anybody that you'd like to see come into Formula One for you to race against? Yeah, um, I'd like to see Gordon Moody. You know, he's the he's the best in Formula Twos, and. Um, like to uh, him to have a good go at Formula One, so I could give him a run for his money, and you know, see how we could compare in the in the same same class. He seems to take quite an interest in Formula One. You know, you quite often see him watching Formula One stock car racing when he's at the same kind of meetings. So yeah, he's, had, know. he's had a couple of goes, hasn't he? Yeah. Formula One. So just I don't know. I think he's so committed to Formula Twos, and um, you know, for where he lives, can be for a certain life, etc. So, um, but yeah, it would be good for him to come and have a season with us, and yeah. uh, see how he gets on. Brilliant. Um, who's the hardest driver that you've raced against in your career? Oh, probably, um, there's a couple really. Uh, Rob Speak was a very hard driver. Yeah. Um, John Lund in my early years of, yeah. of racing. And then you've got other drivers like Jeff Nichols and Mal Brown. You know, they stick on their line and you can you know, hit them as hard as you like yeah. and they, uh, they take some moving. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Three of those, I've got four I think. Okay. Um, people often say about John Lund just because he's just, you know, so committed and just so, you, you can't move him. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's been answered quite a few times in that way. So, yeah, it's very interesting that people yeah. see him as, as one of the hardest drivers to race against. Um, similarly, uh, when you're on a caution and, um, you know, you're looking in your mirror, is there anybody you don't want to see behind you? Or is it, you not bothered? I'm not, I'm not really bothered about things like that. You know, we're all, we're all in for the same thing. You know, we all want to go forward, we all want to win. I don't really, you know, con contemplate who's behind me, really. Um, but again, Kings Lynn actually, um, John was in yes. my mirror on the, on the thing and we had a bit of, I was on the mic and a bit of yes. banter and um, I think the commentator said to John, I, th I think Tom asked a bit worried and he said, yeah, he bloody needs to yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's, uh, John's yeah. You know, he's a great character and he's yeah. a great driver and he's had a lot of success in his career. So yeah. um, Is he a driver that you respect? In oh, massively, massively. One thing for that I always remember John for is um, when I won the World Final at Kings in 2013. Yeah. They were driving out the pits in the bus and they stopped and he stopped the bus to come grab at me. So Brilliant. that was a very special yeah. thing for me. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Um, do you uh, race to win or not race to entertain? Race to win. I always race to win. But I'd like to make it as entertaining as I can as I come through the field. Okay. Brilliant. Um, first memory of Formula One stock cars? Um, 97, I think it was. Um, I was, my dad used to race Formula Twos, and I knew of Formula Ones. But um, like my first proper memory was uh, my dad trying to reverse one into the shed, <laughs> and uh, it wasn't going wasn't going very well. So that's my probably first memory of a uh, old big block car, Audi rear axle, you know, the old the old stock proper stock yes. cars, as people call them. Yeah. Did you always want to come into Formula Ones? You mentioned Formula Two. You had race Formula Twos. Was Formula Ones? It's, yeah, because of like the age I was very young when my dad raced Formula Twos, and then from '97 on was my dad coming to Formula Ones, and it was that's where I wanted to be really. You know, that done and that's where I wanted to go. Okay. Um, do you have any pre-race superstitions or rituals that you kind of do before you get in the car when you're in the car? Is it is there anything that you do? Um, I'm normally late, so no, <laughs> not really. Um, no, I I don't think so. No, not that I can not that no. I can remember. 
if you do, maybe next time when you get in the car you, and, and next season you might think, actually, I do do that. Jonathan asked me about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise I did it. Um, stock cars is a hugely time consuming sport. Do you have time for any other hobbies outside of uh, stock car racing? Uh, yeah, stock cars is uh, very time consuming. Um, but yeah, obviously, I've uh, took to racing in America. Yeah. Um, so we spend a lot of time out there, you know, between here in America, it's been quite a hectic year, especially yeah. this year for me, you know, a lot of travelling, a lot of time in airports, a lot of hours and flights delayed and stuff, and but then other than that, you know, just chill out really, work, yeah. obviously busy at work as well, so try and relax as much as possible at home and uh, spend time with the family. Yeah, um, you know, it is so, so time to learn, I guess for you, because you kind of do not only in this country, but also in another country, so it's yeah, twice as busy. As I said, it's twice as busy, so like family time is um, few and far between, so yeah. when we get the opportunity, we try and uh, go off to tea. Yeah. Enjoy our family life. Brilliant. Um, you're stranded on a desert island. You got to, you've got to have you've got to have three uh, current Formula One drivers uh, there with you. Who would you choose? And why? Um, well, that's a good question. As a driver, because she's raced Formula One, I'd uh, I'd choose Catherine. Okay, my sister Catherine, because um, she can cook the tea. Yeah, females good cooking. Okay. Um, is that, is that like a given that, that females go cooking? I don't know. Mal Brown said he was a great cook. Oh, I'm yeah. totally cooking. I can do bees on toast and I burn that most of the time. So, um, yeah, so Catherine and yeah. then Craig Finnegan. Okay. Yeah, me and Craig have known, known for many years and go way back and get on really well. Um, third one, current driver. There's loads of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of um, Luke Davis. Yeah, yeah. Brother and also, you know, if you're gonna get lost with something, you're gonna get lost with them. Yeah, absolutely, it makes sense. Um, we talked about relaxing. Uh, do you go to the, uh, been to the cinema recently? Uh, Favourite film? Not for years, but I haven't been to the cinema for since I can remember. Me and Jamie Lee were dating. I think that was the last time I went to the cinema. Um, but no, uh, Days of Thunder is one of my favourite films. Yeah. It's an old film, and you know, whenever it's seen on TV, we always, you know, flip it on and watch it. Uh, great stock offer in some respects. Um, do you ever go and do the big shop? No. No, not my department. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd buy the wrong things or the wrong brand of things and I'll forget something, so no. So you're not trusted to go into the big shop? No. Okay. That's okay, that's not bad. Who wants to do the big shop? Um, you can have a dinner party. Uh, three people, dead or alive, famous, not famous. Who are you going to have at your dinner? Of Conor McGregor. Okay. Um, probably Kyle Larson. Okay. And Alice Presley. Really? Just because I just cause can. Do, do you like Alice Presley? Is it um, yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah. So you got more. Well, I won't say I'm a massive fan, but that's what I thought. I was a bit of Irish, you know. Yeah. 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 And uh, get down to it. Yeah. You could, you could ask him, like, how did you really die? Do you know what I mean? You could, you could be the one <laughs> that finds out the truth. Yeah, the truth. Um, most underrated food or drink, in your opinion? Um, beans on toast. Because you can cook it? Because I can make it. Okay. And whenever I'm hungry, that's what we have. Okay. And, and are you if there's nobody in the house yeah. and I'm hungry, it's either beans on toast or those tin meatballs on toast. Ah, yes. Are you are you just beans on toast? Do you add anything into it? A bit of cheese on it? Is it just um, no, standard? No, just standard. Standard. Okay, can't make it complicated. Okay. Right. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> to be straightforward and quick. Um, you've been to New Zealand. You've been to America. Is there any country that you would like to visit that you've not been to? Yeah, I'd like to go to Australia, especially racing wise. I'd um, I've raced in New Zealand and raced in America. Um, I think some of the tracks in New Zealand and um, the motorplexes I thought pretty good tracks, it'd be um, nice to go out there and get an opportunity to, to race out there, so Australia is one place that I would like to go. Brilliant. Okay. Um, and could you survive in the wilderness for a month? No, definitely not, no. How long would you give yourself? Uh, depends if it was cold or not. But yeah, I'm going to... Don't I'm do cold. Okay. I'm so going to ask you wilderness. In my head, I've got Alaskan wilderness. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. I'll no. do a day or so. Day. That's yeah. longer than most. Probably eating by a bear or something. <laughs> um, thinking back to school, what was your favourite subject? Uh, engineering. I was. Um, I hated school. Absolutely hated school. But engineering was um, probably one of the subjects which I enjoyed. So you know, my teacher, me and my teacher, always got on because yeah. I was interested in subjects. So um, yeah, engineering or technology, I'd say. So why did you hate school? Was it just I'm not interested in? Yeah, learning? just I was just wasn't interested. To be fair, yeah. just wasn't wasn't my cup of tea. No, I enjoyed PE, yeah. um, and like I said, the engineering technology and things like that, but I like making things and designing things, I didn't really like the yeah. paperwork side of the engineering, but you have to do it now. Um, so what was the last book that you read? Um, 
I don't remember. Do you remember? I've read a stock car magazine, if that counts. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, can, yeah, of course it does. Yeah, yeah it's not it's a stock car magazine or a sprint car magic magazine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because again, something I'm interested in. Yeah. I don't mind doing that if we're on the way to racing or something. But no, I'm not a sit down and read a book person. Okay. Um, best prank you've played on somebody? Um, simple, but um, can of coke, poke a hole in the lid so when you drink it, it's all that shit. It's very simple, yeah. but very effective. Yeah, I like that. Who was that for? Who did you uh, do it to? Luke does it to me all the time. Really? <laughs> I still don't cut on to it. <laughs> um, what incredibly common thing have you never done? Mm, that's a very, very random question. It is. Um, had pineapple on pizza. So, you, uh, so you're in the no pineapple. No pineapple. Okay. Yeah. That question isn't in here, but I like. I should have put them in these. You should have put them. Yeah, in I like that. Yeah, no, no, definitely don't have pineapple on pizza. Okay. Um, if magic was real, uh, what spell would you learn first? Um, if magic is real. Isn't it? Have you not seen that on TV? I've seen David Blaine. You've seen him walk up the walls. And yeah, stuff. he's a witch though. David Blaine. Yeah. I'm convinced. Um, Okay, let's say magic is real, but you don't have the... Okay, if magic magic is, is real, I would um, like to open the shed door and the car just be, you know, put it in there after a weekend race and yeah. 100 bits and then open the door the next morning and it'd just be pristine, ready to go. That's great. That would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I think we should go with that. I like that. Um, would you ever take part in a reality TV series? And if so, which one? Yeah, I would actually. Um, probably Love Island. Okay. Because I just think, you know, girls and you know, just relax. There's one other driver that wanted to go on Love Island as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's not me. I'm yeah. going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> definitely going to get in trouble. Nobody sees it. Just me and you talking. I said that right at the beginning. Nobody sees it. I'm definitely going to get in trouble for that one. But yeah, definitely Love Island. Because of the, the girls. The views. Okay, the views. Not mentioning so, girls. Okay, the views. Sorry, I misheard. Uh, yeah, because the views. Mm. From the villa. Because you from overlook the, villa, the, 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 the pool and all. It's lovely. Okay, brilliant. Um, who makes you laugh? <laughs> um, little Alfie, actually. Okay. Yeah. Little nephew, he's yeah. uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable kid. And he seems very into stock cars. Oh, he's, 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 absolutely, he's absolutely mad for it and he's, he's not wide up right. He's absolutely crazy and you, know, you can't. <laughs> yeah. When you're around, you can't have a smile. Even if he's naughty, he's just got that look and you just crack up. Yeah. It, I think stock cars is great for children. I think that it's such a family oriented sport and I think that kids just think it's just pretty good. Yeah, he's, and he's, you know, his environment he's been brought up in as well with the yard and the cars and like say you're racing stuff yeah. is, 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 is unbelievable. You know, some of the things you can do is, is, is quite is quite Future car driving? Oh definitely. Yeah. Um, alternatively, when did you last cry? Uh, I don't remember. Jamie Lee will give her this one because she says I should show emotion and cry at some things but... Do you want to try now? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, probably when I was younger actually at my nan's funeral or something. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, what do you consider your greatest achievement in life to have been so far? This year, um, becoming a becoming a father. That's okay. um, something which, um, yeah, I've wanted kids for forever. I've mean, yeah. you know, got the same mental age, and um, yeah, I, I enjoy time, spend time with Alfie and you know, Bobby and the younger kids yeah. and stuff like that. So um, yeah, becoming a father is probably my greatest achievement. It is life changing. Yeah, yeah, it's a life changing thing, and I do. Really looking forward to it and uh, can't wait for it to arrive. Do you think it will change the way you look at stock cars or do you think that you will um, continue as you are doing? I mean, it's a really big question, probably one of uh, To be fair, um, I've changed the way I've looked at stock cars for over the last probably three or four years. I've uh, had a different view on it and um, it's how my racing will end. Yeah. Um, just way more relaxed and just it is what it is and get on with it, if you yeah. know what I mean. Just, so, yeah. Um, and do you think that's how you've been more successful, that you've taken a different approach? Yeah, I, I would say that a lot of the success has come from um, yeah. my race in America. Just move, you know, car control and my ability. Like, I'd, so I don't know how I do it sometimes, but you know, you get through that gap and that gap. But people, I read that a lot, and you know, obviously watch your race, but a lot of people say uh, Tom does things that um, others can't or aren't. Yeah, it's, but the, the thing is that you know, if you when you're averaging 140 mile an hour in a sprint car, and then you come down and you're averaging 50 or 60 in yeah. a stock car. It's uh, you have a lot more time, so you can't, you know, you, it speeds your reaction time up in America and your car control. Yeah, it's phenomenal. And you get used to going so fast as well. So when I come back here, it slows everything down. Yeah. And um, I like I say, I get a lot more time to, to make decisions and find gaps and stuff. Okay. Brilliant. Um, biggest regret? 
and probably the world final at Skegness. Shouldn't have heard Frank in the first quarter. <laughs> Yeah, could have, a tally, could have a tally of three now, not two. <laughs> um, what's the best advice you've been given? Uh, for racing, probably um, what in America with Bob East and, and Sammy Swindown, all the legends and stuff, and um, you know, they just tell you to relax and breathe. And, you know, it's I, I can't describe it like how they how they. They don't pinpoint one thing, just the, the way they talk about it, like it makes you more relaxed and yeah. you know, becomes to like I don't actually know what it is they say, but it's the way they go about the whole situation and they describe things to you, it's, it makes everything racing wise a yeah. lot easier. So um, I would say yeah, those two have been a massive help to me and pretty like my success. And can you describe yourself in three words? Um, annoying, stubborn. None of those things that you've done today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, annoying stubborn. Annoying stubborn and irritable. Okay. When you're tired or just in general? Just in general. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bill Maynard said stock car racing is magic. How would you describe stock cars? Yeah, it's magic on seasons like I've had this you know, like this year and um, it can be evil as well. So yeah, it's, there's two flip sides to it. Um, yeah, like I say, this year stock car racing has been magic for me. I've had a phenomenal year and um, yeah, it's definitely magic. Okay. I'm going to do a quick fire round with you. Um, sun or snow? So, Coffee or tea? Neither. Shale or tarmac? Uh, shale. Small or casual? Uh, casual. Brown sauce or tomato ketchup? Ketchup, please. Burger or hot dog? Definitely burger. Andy Smith or Rob Speak? Leave or remain? Right. Thomas Manelsi, please talk to you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers. Thank you.